Oh, hello, I didn't see you there. <laughs> ah, it's me, it's the doctor. Hello, hello, hello. It's Dr. Yuli. The doctor is in. How are you guys? I know, I know, I know. I have been away for a little bit. Just a little bit. But I'm back. I'm here, and I'm here to just say hello and to get caught up with all of you wonderful people out there that have been supporting me and watching my videos and giving me, you know, ratings and leaving comments and sending emails and friend requests and all of that. I have been getting it, and I know it seems like I've just, like, dropped off the face of the earth, but I'm here. I have been a little you know, discombobulated and bombarded with some things, but I finally, I think, have a clear enough plate to finally sit down and come back home to YouTube and to do a video. So here I am. I'm here. You know, all this hair is going on. You know, scarves and things, and <laughs> the energy is mine, and I am everything. Blah, 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 blah. So anyway. <laughs> um. I wanted to just jump right in with uh, a little topic, a little piece that I've been sort of stewing on, a little co cooking it up in my little my little kitchen, and it has to do with communication and how people just don't do it anymore. People don't seem to know how to communicate in the proper fashion, and it's really starting to get under my skin. And let me elaborate a little bit on what I'm talking about. I am a person who is not afraid to put myself out there. When I see that when I see something that I may want to invest the time in or someone that I want to invest some time in and getting to know, you know, there's a little chemistry, there's a little vibe, a spark or what have you, I will muster up the courage if I feel like there's enough mutual, you know, vibe or rapport in the air to just be like, Hey, how are you? nice to meet you how's your evening how's that drink can I get you another one you know what I'm saying I can I will strike up a conversation if I feel like the door is open on the other party's end what gets me though is how sometimes you will have this connection you establish with someone and then you like alright let's, let's exchange numbers let's maybe hang out sometime so you, you do that, you call or you email or you Facebook or whatever, whatever, you know, no discrimination here. And then they act like either one of two things. Either they get amnesia and don't know who you are all of a sudden <laughs> after they was all up in your space, you know, the night before or a few nights back. Or number two, they play what I like to call the too busy game. Oh yeah, I I really would love to get together. We really should do this, that, and the other, but I've just got so much going on. Maybe some other time. Let's 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 tentatively do this. You know what I'm saying. You've been there. It's the I've got so much on my plate I couldn't possibly squeeze one other thing in because I'm just so busy. Well, you know what? I'm tired of that. I don't think that's a viable excuse anymore. And I know me coming to this video saying I've been so busy and preoccupied is probably like, oh, well, Dr. Yuli, you calling the kettle black. What's going on? But see, the thing is, when you really want to make a connection with someone, you will find a way to slip in every now and then. You will find a way to just say, I know we haven't made that point of contact, but I'm still here and there's still something. And that's why in the in my absence I try to drop off a few things even if I haven't come as the doctor to a session I still drop off a little piece like a song or a poem or some funny little prescription or something or some little anecdote or whatever. I try to just do those little blips to let you know well, I'm still around even though I haven't done something like this which is a real talk session which is what I like to call these where we just air out the real dirty laundry, you know, of certain issues. So, being too busy is not an excuse. 
And and that just that's just the bottom line. It's time to ring the alarm, as one of my friends put it or earlier, who I have been having this dialogue with about this very topic over the past couple of weeks. It's time to ring the alarm on that, because we've been through this too long. If you want to see me, if you want to hang out, then come see about me. <laughs> you know, it's like my number stays the same. You know, when I write someone a message, I'm genuine. I'm like, hey, let's find some time. You know, let me know what your schedule is. And then, you know, we'll do something. Even if it's 30 minutes, have a cup of coffee. Just catch up. You know, I'll meet you on your lunch break. You know, whatever. We can do this. And I don't think that's a sign of desperation. It's just simply a person that is trying to connect. And if people want to continually put out this mixed signal energy of, oh yeah let's get together but then they never want to actually follow through I'm not going to stand for it anymore and I don't think anyone else should either and this goes beyond just the dating pool it goes it spreads into friends and family I know you all have friends that are just like man we haven't seen each other in a while let's get together what, what are you doing we should have a, we should have dinner we should have you over we should do this we should do that blah 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 and you're like, okay, sure, yeah, uh, just give me a call. You know, you know, I'm I'm busy with stuff, but just give me a call. Let me know, and we'll set something up. Give me a call. We'll do it because your schedule is a little more busy than mine. You have a little less flexibility than I. So let me know when you have a window, and we'll set something up. And then silence. Mm-hmm. It's golden, and it really is telling. And I'm just sick of it. So that's that's kind of what what we're going to say about that for now. Um I would love to hear what you think about this. Please weigh in. This is this is just the start of what I'm sure will be a multi-part series on communication and the lack thereof and how to solve that problem. All righty then. So um <laughs> on that note, I think I'm going to leave you Stir on it, get back to me, get in touch, give me your comments, and we will continue to parlay, darling. So, hope you all are well. Hope you like the new lighting. This is weird for me. It's sort of got this sort of haze effect, which I like, sort of dampens the wrinkles on my brow. <laughs> anyway, I'll talk to you guys soon, and much love. Peace.